Now, let's try to develop a game using HTML5's canvas element. So, HTML5's canvas element is mainly used to draw graphics using JavaScript. So, I have named the game like Catch Me If You Can. And the game is like this. If you click the play button, it gives a message like Use the arrow keys to play. If you click OK, you can start the game. You can move the pink box by using left, right and top and bottom arrows on your keyboard. And once it touches the blue box, your score increases by 1. And the time is only 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds, you need to catch maximum blue boxes. That is the game. So here the score is now 6, 7, 8 and the time is 30 seconds so it is over so the final score is 8 let me click it once again to show you ok 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it needs to be touched 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The score is 16. So we are going to develop this game from scratch. That is catch me if you can game using HTML 5's canvas element. So let's see how to do this. So to develop this game, I have already created a basic HTML page and named it like catchme.html and the title is changed to catch me if you can and also I have added reference to the latest jQuery file online. Now let me add the required elements. Let me add a div element with id container to add all the related elements and within this let me add a button as you saw previously so button id equals btn play this is the id and let me have the text like play itself and after this let me also add a span element with id result to just show the score as well as the time okay so after this let me add a new line character and then add our canvas element so canvas let the id be say my canvas and to use canvas we need to specify the width and height so let the width be say 600 and let the height be say 400 okay and i also want to have the first tabbed element as this canvas element so i can specify tab index equals 1 so when i specify tab index to be 1 this element will get the focus first so i want to get this element gets focus first so i have specified tab index for this canvas element to be one okay then let me style these elements a bit so style let me first style the container element so container that is the id i want to center it so i can specify margin 0 px auto and let me also set width and height for the container. So the width for the canvas element is 600. So let me specify 700 px. And let me also specify height as 500 px. Because the height for the canvas is specified as 400 px. Now let me style the button a bit. So for the button let me have a border radius. So that it will have rounded corners. 10 px let me specify the font size to be increased value say 25 px let me set the color to be purple okay then let me also set a border of 2 px solid black then comes the span element so its id is result so hash result for this as well let me specify the font size to be 25 px and change the color to purple that is the text color to purple then the last one is my canvas that is a canvas element so for my canvas let me set a border of say 2px solid 
black and I don't want to have any outline when it gets focused. So let me specify outline to be none. Okay. Now let me save this and let me see the page. Let me refresh. See, this is how the page is now looking like. I think we can have a margin for this element. And for the time being, let me have some dummy text within the span element. So here let me specify score. And for the button, let me specify a margin of say 20 px and see the difference let me refresh see now it is displayed like this okay now we are done with the front end design next what we need to do we actually have to display two squares or say two boxes and they needs to be moved when we move the left right top or bottom arrows okay so how we can do that let me show you how to draw some rectangle or square within our canvas first. Okay, so after this, let me add the script section. And within this, let me add dollar document dot ready. This is to check whether our document is ready. This is jQuery. So function. And first, we need to access the canvas element, right? So how we can access it? Let me specify a variable called where canvas. If I specify dollar hash my canvas as explained in a previous project, it will return a jQuery object. But we need to have an HTML DOM object. So we need to use dot get of zero. So this will return the HTML DOM element representing the canvas. Okay. So, we have accessed the canvas in this canvas variable. Now, we need to get access to the HTML object that is the context object which contains the properties and methods for drawing. So, this is related to canvas. So, let me specify where context equals canvas dot get context that is the name of the method. In brackets, I need to specify 2D. So, this will return the HTML object required for drawing inside the canvas. Now, suppose I want to draw two squares within our canvas. So, let me specify variables like big X. That is the X position or X coordinate for our big square. And let the value be 50. Okay. Then, let me specify the big Y. That is the Y coordinate. Let the value be 100 and let me also specify the length of our square that is the side. So big length let it be say 50 again. And similarly I want to draw a small square as well. So for the small square let me specify small x let it be 0 comma 0 that is x and y coordinates let it be 0 0. So, here small y equal to 0 and let the size be that is small length be 25. Now, here I am using these values in variables because we are going to change the position of these big and small boxes, right? So, if we can change the values of these variables, we can reposition them. That is why instead of hard coding the values, here itself I am using some variables for them. 